Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection. From the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean, we invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's Word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke 13, 18 to 21. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? What shall I compare it with? It is like a mustard seed which a man took and threw into his garden. It grew and became a tree, and the birds of the air sheltered in its branches. Another thing, he said, what shall I compare the kingdom of God with? It is like the yeast a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour till it was leavened all through. The Pharisee and the Publican When we pray, how should we approach God? In a proud, boastful, and self-righteous way? Or in a humble way? Should we look down on others or despise them as the Pharisees did in order to promote himself? I am not grasping, unjust, adulterous like the rest of mankind. And particularly, I am not like this tax collector here, said the Pharisee. Luke 1, 50-51 states, God's mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He has rooted the proud hearted. The tax collector, on the other hand, stood humbly with eyes looking downward and beating his breast saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. What was the outcome? Jesus revealed that the tax collector went home again at rights with God. No matter how many good deeds we have done, we have all fallen short of the glory of God. Jesus wants us to approach God like children, humble, trusting, and open to the mercy of God in order to enter the kingdom of heaven. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May He come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.